Well, we're going to continue our conversation now on that subject with uh, Raphael Gronowski, who we saw there. He's the co-founder of uh, Mama Money, and Dave Glass, the MD of Electrum. Raphael, just let's uh, start with you. Getting this license, uh, being first, is often a pioneering thing, and you've got to get obstacles out of the way that other people who follow you don't have to. What's the process been like? It's clearly a good principle, but must have been quite a process to get to where you are. It absolutely has. I mean, we've been very, very fortunate that we've been working very well together with the South African Reserve Bank and the Reserve Bank in Zimbabwe. They've been very, very helpful in getting us uh, approved and getting us towards the market. And it's been a really, really interesting adventure with them. And we're happy that we got approved so early on in the process. And we're hoping to make a big difference for Zimbabweans and other migrant communities living here in South Africa. Dave, let's bring you into the conversation with the quick advances that we've seen in technology. Will people still need banks to transfer money? <laughs> it's an interesting question, Tamisha. Well, um, certainly, from my point of view, I, actually feel, I feel strongly that it's not really about the technology. It's, in fact, about the products, which makes sense for Zimbabweans living in South Africa. We've seen quite a few new entrants, which have uh, very novel technology, you know, delivered by mobile and other ways. And I think what really sets Mama Money apart is that they spent a lot of time working with the Zimbabwean community in South Africa to fully understand the product they need to be able to send home at a price which is uh, socially fair. Raphael, just coming back to you, and you mentioned a moment ago uh, the fees that you charge, and I'm just interested to know how you arrive at 5%. I mean, I suppose you have to arbitrarily decide on something. These are electronic signals. I mean, you're not actually carrying money around. So if you send 5,000 Rand or 500 Rand, the uh, work that you do, presumably, is exactly the same, and the work that the technology does. Why then have a 5% rate? Why not just have a flat rate that you charge everyone? Right, that's a very good question. So Mama Money is set up as a social business. So we operate a little bit different to the regular money transfer operators who are strictly profit maximizing. So we, as Mama Money, we, want, we like to be called what is profit minimizing. So we looked at the prevailing market rates, but at the moment for South African transfers to SADC countries is 18.69%. And we thought, okay, what is a socially fair price? And we arrived at 5%, which allows us to trade successfully and provide a good service to our customers. And it also allows customers to benefit from these very, very reduced rates but because we are cashless. The plan is for the future that as soon as the business grows and we have more, uh, more corridors and we have a lot of customers to further reduce the rate uh, to less percentage than it is now. Rafael, just to follow up uh, on that one, it does sound as if your business can look after itself. I mean, do you actually have to do anything once you've set this technology in place? Uh, is it a, a cash cow that actually doesn't have to be fed? Well, it's, it's, first of all, it's not that easy to set it up. I mean, it took us about two years to build the technology. We have to hire a lot of staff. We have right now already hired 25 staff. It's going to expand to about 100 staff just in Cape Town in the next few months. Um, the, we, have to lead, we have certain uh, requirements regarding compliance and anti-money laundering checks. So the startup costs at the beginning were very high. As I said, in the future, we're hoping to further reduce the cost. But right now, 5% is much, much lower than prevailing market rent. And you will see it's also lower than global market average. Dave, uh, back to you. We heard from our colleague earlier in the Kenya, Bonnie Tunia, talking about uh, how the remittances have increased by 10% due to certain policies. But how big is the remittance market in South Africa? Well, you know, it's, it's tough to know exactly because there's a certain amount of cash and that moves over the border in, in, uh, through informal means, such as uh, you know, taxi drivers, and uh, bus drivers and individuals taking cash home. Um, but it's thought that the South African remittance market, the corridor from South Africa to Zimbabwe, is worth about 14 billion rand. Of that, approximately 7 billion is uh, formal and, and 7 billion informal. So we'd like to see uh, more people using formal channels. Um, there's nothing wrong with the formal channel. It's often cheaper. Um, and, and really, the brief from Mama Money to me was to say, look, let's make uh, making a remittance as easy as doing a, a, an EFT from your online banking or as easy even as sending an SMS. And I think we've achieved that with this product and, and really spending a, a huge amount of time uh, understanding the market and, and what they need. Raphael, back to you again. 
whenever a new idea comes onto the market, particularly in financial services, ways of moving money around, the receiver of revenue, as he used to be known, uh, SARS, take an interest. Now, maybe the, you haven't had to worry about this yourself, but have you been asked questions about this? I mean, what is, is the taxation regime with money leaving the country? Does it get taxed on the other side when they receive it? Uh, does it get, they get taxed here before they send it? Right. So that's a very good question. So we have to pay taxes. Everybody has to pay taxes. We're actually quite excited about paying taxes to help the South African economy move forward. There are no fees for the recipient on the receiving side. So all the money that gets uh, sent over from South Africa to the recipient is when it arrives, has already been fully taxed, and the recipient can spend that money on the things that they really need, which is mostly uh, basic food items, housing, uh, and especially school fees, which is the main reason why a lot of people come over here and work to send money home. Well, fascinating stuff, and it certainly sounds like people's lives are going to be made easier and uh, their costs will be reduced. That was Rafael Gronowski, who's co-founder of uh, Mama Money, and Dave Glass, the MD of Electrum.